curing blindness is it, it is a big deal because we didn't we didn't choose the eye because it it was going to work. We chose it because it was difficult. You know, similar to JFK going to the moon. You yeah. you, you choose to go there because it's it's a challenge. Um, and if it's going to work in the eye, I think it's likely to work in other tissues. And if you're wondering, what do we know now? Well, since that paper in Nature, we and and many of my colleagues now, there are whole conferences on this uh, age reversal technology. Um, I was just in Barcelona with uh, probably a few hundred scientists doing this. Um, so I know the, the latest is age reversal in the brain. We've done this in my lab and others have done it. We can uh, cure Alzheimer's in, or at least reverse large aspects of Alzheimer's in a mouse now. Uh, hopefully reversing the age of the human brain will have the same effect, which means that memories will come back, ability to learn will come back. That's what we're hoping. Uh, we're working, we've shown that we can reverse aging in, in kidneys and liver and uh, what else are we doing? Um, peripheral nerves, we're looking at whether we can treat and cure ALS, which is something that um, Serena, my partner, has in her family. Um, and so what this, and the skin we've done as well, we're looking at reversing hearing loss. We've got some early results there. So what am I trying to say? I'm saying that the eye is, is just the beginning. Um, well, I like to talk about reversing aging, though I, I get a lot of pushback from, mostly from my colleagues who say, that's an exaggeration. But in my lab, where you know we're, we're often years ahead of what we talk about, we reverse aging every day. It's not a question of if; it's just that it's that we do it. Now the question is: is it, is it safe? I don't know that for sure. But we've blasted mice with age reversal technology for the whole life, and the only thing that happens is that they live longer, uh, and they have better eyesight, and they run faster. We don't see any cancer. Uh, we haven't tested running, but we'd like to. Uh, so I, I think to get to your, really to the point of the question, uh, I think that there'll be, in the next five years, fingers crossed, uh, one or more of the clinical trials on age reversal, epigenetic reprogramming, as we call it technically, will sh be shown to work and hopefully get on the market so that doctors can use it for a variety of conditions from rare diseases through to the general population at their discretion. I don't think it'll be on the bottle, it won't say anti-aging, but it, it could say treatment for type 2 diabetes or Alzheimer's. Or we, we've spent the last 200 years with modern medicine addressing individual diseases, thinking that we need a different medicine for each one because they look so different. Alzheimer's doesn't look like heart disease, well, a little bit, but not much, diabetes. Wound healing, loss of hair, gray hair. But what I'm saying, is, according to the theory, is that all these diseases have the same underlying cause. The majority of these diseases is caused by information loss of the epigenome and that we can reverse those. And that the same treatment that will cure, hopefully, Alzheimer's will also cure any other ailment that you have from old age. That's the big deal. And that's the prospect that we're working towards. Uh, how far are we on the glaucoma studies? Um, and I think everyone knows glaucoma. Those of you who, who don't, um, pressure in the eye leads to slow loss of blindness. There's very little you can do except reduce the pressure, but not all glaucoma responds and not all glaucoma is caused by pressure. And right now there's nothing I know that reverses the disease, only slows it down. But we're talking about potentially a cure. Uh, and so where are we at? Well, in, we showed that we could cure glaucoma within six weeks in mice back in 2020. Uh, we showed it with Bruce Cassandra's collaboration um, and reported it last year that we could do it in monkeys. Which is amazing. I'm happy about that result. <laughs> uh, and where we're at now is the company that is running this, Life Biosciences, which came out of my lab, um, I'll just remember what I can say and what is confidential. I can tell you that the drug substance is now manufactured. It's ready to be put into humans. We've had discussions with the FDA about whether they like our approach. Um, I was very happy that they were very positive about our approach, and they even gave really great suggestions. I kid you not, they actually have saved us a lot of time and money by insights into how to conduct the trial cleverly. And so really what you're asking is, when will this be ready? The first human, if all goes well, will be dosed um, sometime next year. 
And we'll know pretty soon if it works, right? We'll just wait six weeks and do an eye test. I think we'll know. And uh, so by the end of next year, I will very likely be able to tell you if it works. Now there's a, a second phase of all drugs where you go through a, a much larger group. We'll probably go from uh, what's called from a phase, early phase two to a phase three before it gets on the market. Um, and so that's still a couple of years. So we, you know, within four to five years, I wish it was faster, but that's really the realistic time frame given the constraints we have in this country about drug development. I'm hoping, though, that the, the other work that we're doing will go even faster. Um, the, we, these molecules that we've discovered that reverse aging, they might um, be able to go even quicker because some of them are, are readily available. And we'll see, maybe we can have an off-the-shelf glaucoma treatment too.